A pleasant day class! Welcome to Horticulture Module for Grade 10. This focuses on Quarter 3, Week 3 discussion. So let's get started! For this week, we will go into discuss occupational health and safety in applying fertilizer. This lesson will briefly discuss on the importance of fertilizer and the correct way of applying fertilizer based on crops requirements following safety procedures according to OSHS in horticulture. It will also help the learner determine the methods of fertilizer application. Can you still remember our previous lesson in quarter 2 about the types of fertilizer? Today, we're going to have a recap by having a game called 4 Picks, 1 Word. Let's start! Let's have the first set of pictures. That's correct! Fertilizer! Let's try the second pictures. Exactly! Organic! You're doing great! Let's proceed to the third set of pictures. Absolutely! Chemical! How about these pictures? Correct! PPE or Personal Protective Equipment. Let us have the last set of pictures. Absolutely! Application! It seems that you really understand our lesson, so let's proceed to our topic for today. Aside from the major nutrients that the fertilizer have like NPK or nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, scientists have identified the essential nutrients and grouped them according to the relative amounts of each that the plants need. First, primary nutrients also known as macronutrients, those usually required in the largest amount. They are carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and potassium. While secondary nutrients are those usually needed in moderate amount, like calcium, magnesium, and so forth. And micronutrients are required in tiny amount like boron, chlorine, iron, manganese, molybdenum, and zinc. Now, let's proceed to occupational health and safety. OHS is a concept that affects every organization, but you need to understand the basics in order to inform your safety management strategy effectively especially when working in a farm. With OHS, standards in place, workers are able to carry out their responsibilities in a safe and secure working environment free from hazards. A farmer should know the following OHS while working. First, wear PPE during application of fertilizers. Second, Make sure chemicals are safely stored and cupboards lock. Never spray chemicals on days when there is a high wind. No first aid procedures. Keep a list of all hazardous substances used on the farm. Now, let's discuss the methods of applying fertilizer. We have four methods of applying fertilizer that is discussed in our module. First, deep soil application. Second, broadcasting. 
third bonding, and fourth liquid application. Deep soil application. Organic manures are sometimes placed on the surface of the soil and incorporated into the soil with a flow or rototiller before planting. Fertilizer can also be applied in bonds at the bottom of flow furrows or broadcast or spread on top of flood soil that is then worked into the soil with a harrow before planting. This is how deep soil application works. Say for example, we have an organic fertilizer like manure and rice hull. The manure will be mixed with the soil so that it can produce a very good type of soil for planting. While for the rice hull plus soil mixed together to produce a rice hull soil. Remember, you should mix the manure or any organic fertilizer in a soil first, mix it together before you will use that soil for planting. In that case, you have deep soil application. For the deep soil application using chemical fertilizer, Say for example, in the illustration, we have a slow-release fertilizer, which is a chemical fertilizer. Apply in bonds. Uh, the bonds formed here after the soil was plowed and made the furrows. So the slow-release fertilizer are applied in the bottom of the plowed soil and then work to the soil with a harrow. After that, that soil can be uh, used for planting. Next is broadcasting. You can use a walk behind drop spreader or handheld spreader with a crank to scatter granular or bulk fertilizer on the ground. This method called broadcasting is good for flower beds, lawns, trees, and vegetable gardens. Fertilizer may be broadcast on off the ground before planting and then filled or watered into the soil. If it is broadcast on growing plants and watered on the soil, it is called top dressing. This is how broadcasting works. As you have noticed in the illustration, granulated fertilizers are being scattered by throwing the fertilizers onto the field. Next is the band method. To fertilize a row of flowers or vegetables, or to get plants started, place the fertilizer 2 inches to the side and 2 inches deeper than the seed furrow. This is called banding. When you irrigate with furrows, place the band of fertilizer between the irrigation furrow and the seed furrow. Place bands of fertilizer on each side of the furrow. When you irrigate with a drip hose, place a fertilizer under the emitter. You can also place the fertilizer on one side of a seedling or on one side of a plant midway through its growing period. This is called side dressing. This is an illustration of how band method works. Last is the liquid application. Water-soluble fertilizer can be applied with spray cans or applied with sprinklers or furrow irrigation. Small amounts of liquid fertilizer applied to young vegetable plants at the time of transplanting is called a starter solution. Some plants require micronutrients such as zinc and iron that they cannot get through the soil, but their leaves can absorb them. Water-soluble fertilizer is usually sprayed on leaves 
when they first show signs of nutrient deficiency and in periods of drought when the soil is too dry to absorb the nutrients. This is an illustration of how liquid application of fertilizer is being done. You are now ready to take the performance task. Choose at least one method of applying fertilizer and do it in your yard. Create your own video. You may choose liquid application or deep soil application or band method or broadcasting. You may refer to the video that I have created so that you can do your own task. Good morning class! So today I'm going to show you um, one example of methods in applying fertilizer which is band method. Okay, so here in our backyard garden, uh, I will apply commercial fertilizer in our palamon seed. Kasi as you have noticed, mamamatay na siya, nawawala na siya ng dahon. Okay, kasi pinakain siya ng mga pests. So, para mas mag-grow siya, ayan, lagyan natin siya ng fertilizer. Okay, ang gagawin natin ng method is band method. So, according to the band method, we have to measure a distance of 2 inches from the plant. So, from here, we're going to measure 2 inches. Here is the 2 inches. Ikot yan. And then, we're going to dig at least 2 inches yan. Bakit natin siya kailangan i-deal or bakit tayo kailangan mag-hukay ng um, 2 inches. 2 inches then below the ground. Careful lang kayo sa pag-ibig ha. Kailangan hindi nyo mag-galaw yung roots ng inyo. Yan. So this time, I'm going to use commercial fertilizer. So, yeah, So, nakita niyo naman po ay dig. So, ngayon, apply lang natin siya na commercial fertilizer. So, kung sinabi natin commercial fertilizer, it is a chemically manufactured fertilizer. It is not a natural fertilizer. So, ito yung kanyang itsura. Ayan. Maraming klasa. May white, may gray, at kung ano-ano pa. So, ito yung nabili, to, nabili ko ganitong klase. So, lalagay lang natin siya dito. Ayan. Good-good lang natin dito sa ating hinukay. Good-good niyo lang ito. Siguro, that's enough. So, after that, tatabunan ulit natin siya ng lupa. Okay? So, bakit natin siya kailang ilubog sa lupa? Kasi, syempre, the roots is underneath the soil. So, yun yung ating pinaka-goal um, dito yung malagyan ng nutrition yung kanyang roots. So, that it will grow healthy kung ano yung nutrients na nilagay natin dito sa soil. So, babalik lang natin, tatabunan lang natin siya. Ulit. Okay. So, that's it. That is the band method. So, close monitoring tayo dito sa ating kalamansing ito kung how effective is this um, fertilizer. Okay? So, napakasimple. Ganun lang po. For your formative assessment, 
identify the following illustrations. Numbers 3, 4, and 5. Here's the correct answer. Number one, broadcast method. Number two, band method. Number three, deep cell method. Four, liquid method or liquid, liquid application. And number five, band method. I hope you got it correct. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day! I hope you learned something from this video. For more videos and updates, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. God bless everyone!